Other schoolmaster wants to give every girl a home, but his schoolboy bullied and fell in love with her. Meng Ting down the stairs and crossed the path to hurry back to class. A basketball flew past the camphor wood towards Meng Lisson. Luckily, in her last life, Meng Ting to the national championship of dodgeball. By reflex, she dodged the blue ball that passed by her ear. The big brothers there frowned and thought they had hit someone. Jiang Shin but like a grandfather does not care. The big brother ran all the way to Meng to listen to retrieve his ball. But after he got close, he was shocked to find out that it was Meng Lisson. Then he turned his head towards Jiang Ren and shouted, it's the blind student from yesterday. Jiang Ren glanced sideways at Meng listened to a faint glance. Meng Ting to a secret sigh is really a narrow path of injustice. After 0.02 seconds of thinking, she immediately accelerated her steps and went outside the school. Jiang Ren picked up another ball. A standard three-point shooting posture drew a perfect parabola. The ball was precisely smashed in front of Meng heard to block her way. Meng Ting to the footsteps and then stopped. She looked up to see Jiang Ren coming towards her. He was wearing the number 5 ball and had his hands in his pockets. The two minutes that the tall and long-legged Jiang Ren walked over to her made Meng listen to the torment. He walked up to Meng and stepped on the ball. He lowered his head and approached Meng to show a teasing face. Classmate, I can see you. Meng Ting to what else wanted to say but the words came to his lips and did not know how to speak. Jiang Ren asked again or you stop what stop, blind people do not know the danger. This time Jiang Ren was very close to Meng Lisson. As a curious baby, he tried to take off Meng's sunglasses. Meng Ting in a panic and used his blind cane to separate his hands. The wooden cane hit Jiang Ren's hand with a sound of bones. Several people in the room were frozen. Jiang Ren, who instantly lost his smile on his face, said coldly, I don't have the principle of not hitting girls. He Jun Ming hurriedly pulled Jiang Ren Ren brother forget it, he is a blind man, maybe it is a coincidence to hit it. Irritability is a kind of disease that is difficult to restrain their emotions. He Jun Ming saw Jiang Ren's cold face and did not dare to pull again. Meng Lisson also knows that at this time Jiang Ren is not to dare to provoke anyone. She was afraid of the sudden silence in the air, so she became a little scared. She lowered her head and whispered to Jiang Ren, I'm sorry my eyes can't see the light. Meng Ting to the soft voice like the wind in the south of the Yangtze River with a sweetness. Jiang Ren seems to have lost his concentration at this moment, and when he returned to his senses, Meng heard already turned to leave her steps slightly stumbled under the rush. Obviously believed Jiang Ren's words that he would beat women. In the autumn colors of October, the blue and white school uniforms left a slender and gentle back. He Jun Ming said dumbly, so it's not dumb, the voice is quite nice. Jiang Ren looked down at the back of his red hand and thought, if you are not a mute, why are you unwilling to talk to yourself, is it possible that he despises the social pillar of our vocational high school? Fang Tan suddenly curious to ask Jiang Ren to touch her sunglasses to do what? If you take them off, there will be two empty holes with no eyeballs. Jiang Shinobu wiped the back of his hand and cursed, the blind little man with no eyes is dragging what dragging. Back to the seventh grade, Meng Ting with fears and palpitations. It seems that I have to be more careful to stay away from Jiang Ren in the future. Before school ended in the afternoon, Zhao Wan Orange was organizing her school bag. A leaflet was placed on her desk. It was a poster for the National Olympiad competition for primary and secondary school students. The most striking part of the poster was the wording of the first prize of 8,000 yuan. Meng was lost in thought when he saw this. He went around and raised money from relatives and friends. Later, he even went to do the most dangerous radiation work in order to give himself a facelift, so can he rely on the prize money to relieve his father's pressure. So, she took a contest registration form from Zhao Nguan Orange. Zhao Nguyen was surprised and asked when Meng Ting to learn the Olympic mathematics. Meng said that she had learned a little bit when she was in kindergarten, so she could try it with a little more practice. After all, 8,000 yuan is not possible, but still have to do ah. Uh, in order to save Xu's father from doing radiation experiments, the first is not to repeat the disfigurement and burns. The second is to find ways to earn more money. Thinking of this, she asked Zhao Nguan Orange whether there were other competitions. Zhao Nguan Orange replied to Meng Listen. There is a summer English speech contest. Meng looked disappointed to hear that it was in the summer. Zhao Nguyen thought about it and said that there are many such projects in the next vocational high school. All sorts of art student competitions of rap singing and dancing, but suddenly thought of something Zhao Nguan Orange and immediately want to say but stop. I injury listen to how can dance and play the piano it. 
Today it was Zhao Muan Orange's turn to do duty, Meng Ting in order to help her also stayed. As a result, the heavens were kind enough to issue a yellow warning of heavy rain, no umbrella, two people in the hall looking at the rain size. This time can only fight daddy, see which father to send umbrellas fast. The uninteresting Zhao Nuan Orange began to gossip with Meng Listen again. Xin Yuqing last birthday Jiang Ren did not participate. So Xin Yuqing said that Jiang Ren invited the whole class to play in Little Harbor City at night. Then she flattened her mouth and spat out that Xin Yuqing just wanted to show off her relationship with Jiang Shinobu. Just as the words came out of her mouth, several sports cars came in front of the school. The AE-86 at the head of the car stopped in front of them with a drifting tail. The window fell down and Meng heard the face he didn't want to see. He put his hand on the steering wheel and raised the corner of his mouth slightly towards Meng Listen. Her eyes look at each other too speechless. Meng heard hurriedly lowered his head to avoid his gaze. Zhao Nuanchang hurriedly pulled Meng Listen back. I thought to myself, what's wrong with the doorman? I can't believe they let this group of high school students drive in. Not long after, the sound of laughter came from upstairs. Xin Yuqing let a few girls came down. The value of the sports car almost blinded a few girls' titanium alloy human eyes. They all greeted Jiang Ren ingratiatingly. He Junming told the girls not to get wet and to get in the car. Several girls got into He Junming's and Fang Tan's car separately. Xin Yuqing also sat directly on the passenger side of the AE-86. Jiang Ren suddenly looked over at Meng Han, who was sheltering from the rain in the corner. He didn't know Meng's name yet and shouted to him, Get in the car over there, I'll take you to the bus stop. Meng Ting to raise his eyes and shook his head to refuse Jiang Ren. Jiang Ren vaguely some impatience said, Get in the car do not let me say a third time. Xin Yuqing poked her head out instead, You are the classmate with bad eyes, get on the bus. She speaks cheerfully, but her eyes are not so. He Jun Ming at the back was also stunned. Shinobu really began to care for the disabled. Arranged a special car, Meng Ting to know that if she disobeyed Jiang Nian, he would be more and more aggressive. She had no choice but to get into Jiang Shinobu's car with Jiang Wanchen. The AE-86 sped through the neon-covered city. The dull air inside the car was so awkward that water could drip out of it. The normally chatty Zhao Nuanqiang was sitting like a quail. Seeing the bus stop Meng heard softly said we are in front of the station under the platform. Jiang Ren but suddenly laughed and said, really not blind are you? And then he stepped on the gas. The bus stop passed in front of their eyes. Meng Ting to this is a little panic. He didn't provoke him. Why is he still so annoying? As a result, Jiang Ren brought the group to the small port city. Meng Ting to the station at the door and thought, Little Harbor City is so far from home. I don't even have enough money to take a taxi back. Jiang Shinobu put the key fob hanging on the index finger to play to Meng Listen. High school students go into play ah, said he let himself into the small port city. Before entering the door also turned back to Meng Listen to a cold smile. Meng Listen to know Jiang Ren this person will not stop until the goal is achieved. Can only and Zhao Nuan Orange hard to follow in together. Xin Yuqing looked at Meng Ting with uncertainty. The girl behind her came up to his ear and said. Yu Qing, don't worry, just now I asked He Jun Ming, she said that the blind man beat Jiang Ren, not to mention that he is such an ugly blind man, Jiang Ren will not look at him, compared to the slightly cooler autumn outside the small port city is much warmer inside, the warm yellow light reflects the luxurious soft sofa, the luxurious private room has all the microphones, wine and billiards, in the middle of the large table there are meals and pastries, people were toasting to Jiang Xin in a flattering manner, Jiang Ren indifferently clinked glasses with them one by one, compared to the lively atmosphere at the dinner table. Meng Ting quietly and ate some food and then never spoke again. Jiang Ren looked at Meng Listen. This quietness in her body made Jiang Ren envious but also made him want to destroy. Jiang Ren curved his lips and suggested that we should play a game together. The crowd was curious about what Jiang Ren wanted to play. The corners of Jiang Ren's mouth raised slightly, saying that if you lose, you will be randomly punished. The game is called from 7 over, everyone one by one. The turn to 7 or a multiple of 7 applause. Jiang Shinobu counted Meng Ting to the seat, himself reported a 16. The boys who were behind Jiang Ren clapped their hands. When it was Meng's turn, she should be 21. However, she did not know that she also had to participate in this game. So when it came to Meng listen to she was frozen in place without any reaction. Looking at everyone's eyes focused on her. Meng Ting to this reaction, Jiang Ren leaned back in his chair and said senior student. You lost to touch the punishment ah. Meng Ting to the small life muttered he did not know to participate. She hesitantly in the eyes of all gently applauded. Asked Jiang Ren such a count. The awkward scene made the room a quiet and peaceful. Then He Jun Ming burst out a burst of laughter, 
After several minutes of delay before the dumb applause Meng Ting to really abstract, Shen Yuqing and a few of their girls also covered their mouths and kept laughing, Jiang Ren lowered his head, no one could see that his eyes were also starry with laughter, he seriously told Meng to touch the note and accept the punishment, Meng Lisan also realized how anti-human he was for being half a beat slower to clap, so he blushed, she hesitantly drew out a slip of paper amidst the uproar around her, but Meng Ting to see the punishment on it and froze for a while. The girl next to her grabbed it and announced loudly that Meng Ting to a certain person of the opposite sex in the room and looked at each other deeply for 10 seconds. Now everyone shouted that it was too exciting to let oneself and the blind man look deep into each other's eyes. This kind of ambiguous game is horrible for anyone who plays it. He Jun Ming saw Meng listen to look at himself obviously stunned. He shouted to Meng listen to don't find himself. The crowd saw this scene laugh to shoulder trembling. Zhao Nan Gang saw his own listen to be humiliated. She gritted her teeth for Meng listen to fight for justice. Said you do not bully people too much. Jiang Ren lightly looked at Zhao Wan Orange and then scared her to shut her mouth. With his hands on the sofa and legs crossed, Jiang Ren said to Meng listen, come here, they are all afraid of you, only I am left. Meng heard who pushed her, when she turned around, several girls were covering their mouths and laughing, Meng Ting to know that if she didn't obey Jiang Ren today, she probably couldn't even go home, she slowly walked over to Jiang Ren and sat down next to him, after Meng Ting to close to Jiang Ren again smelled the smell, this smell is like the pure and elegant after the rain hit gardenia, Shen Yuqing see two people are about to paste paste, instantly feel the whole person is not good, apprehension Meng Ting to sit beside Jiang Ren and asked him softly, I have bad eyes, can I not take off my sunglasses? Jiang Ren noticed that Meng Ting to the small hands that could not stop trembling in fear. He answered yes by magic. Then he met the haze behind the light and color of Meng Listen. When Jiang Ren and Meng listened to the lens close to the shape of his eyes can be seen vaguely. These eyes were like clouds after the rain of the mountains. Only a glimpse of its path is a kind of hazy beauty. Meng listened to the light is facing a slight pain in the eyes flooded with a little bit of water. Waiting for 10 seconds to pass she hurriedly avoided Jiang Ren's gaze. Already on the verge of tears, Zhao Nuanqiang hurriedly cared for Meng Listen. Jiang Ren suddenly got up and told Meng to get up and take her home. Because he looked at Meng listened to the eyes with tears and this look of pity. Heart some inexplicable irritation. He also does not know what Meng listened to have to cry. He also did not mean him, right, when Meng Ting to the pain in the eyes, it will be physiological tears, he promised himself to send her home and asked her not to cry, Fang Tan also felt that everyone's joke was a bit too much, because Zhao Nuanqiang and Meng listen home is not in the same direction, so he called Zhao Nuanqiang who was already choking in a small voice to send her back, Zhao Nuanqiang, however, has cast a psychological shadow on them and refuses to move. Meng Ting to pat the back of Zhao Nuanqiang's hand to reassure her and reassure her to go home and not worry about herself. When Zhao Nuanqiang was leaving, she asked Meng to be safe. Jiang Ren put on his jacket and impatiently asked Meng to come out quickly. Meng listened hurriedly followed him and went out. In the private room, Shen Yuqing's face turned white when she saw Jiang Ren taking Meng listen away. Jiang Ren is tall and long-legged, and his stride is big. Meng Ting to him stumbling behind him but did not say a word, walking out of the warm room, outside the sudden cold breath makes people shiver, Shen Yuqing in the small port city is full of grievances, the whole night Jiang Ren did not look at her, now he has to leave himself to send a blind man home, the more she thought about it, the angrier she was, she didn't bother to put on her coat and ran outside, when she caught up with Jiang Ren and Meng Lisan, Jiang Ren was looking back at the slow moving Meng Lisan, Shen Yuqing didn't know what kind of eyes Jiang Ren was looking at Meng listen with, but she suddenly had an indefinable sense of crisis in her heart. Shen Yuqing ran behind Jiang Ren and reached out and hugged his waist and told him to come back early. This made Jiang Ren froze in place as if time had suddenly stood still. He subconsciously looked into the distance to the quiet Meng listen. The warm light of the small port city made Meng listen look very soft. Feeling a little embarrassed, Meng Ting to hold his blindfold and quietly looked away. Jiang Ren, who had come back to his senses, pushed Shen Yuqing away. He told Meng to stop standing there and get in the car with him. Shen Yuqing glared at Meng listening with a white face before going back. Meng Ting and got into Jiang Ren's AE86. Jiang Ren lightly inquired about the address of Meng's home. Meng Ting to a moment of stiffness. Let Jiang Ren just find a bus stop to let himself off. Jiang Ren snickered and asked her if she didn't want to get involved with herself. To hide her true thoughts. Meng Ting and shook her head. But her blushing ears betrayed her mercilessly. Knowing that she was right. Jiang Ren couldn't help but spit out a sentence. You think I don't care. After that. 
Jiang Ren really found a random bus stop for Meng to listen to down. The rain was still falling on the autumn night, so Jiang Ren sat in the car and watched Meng listen. Meng Ting to a few trees above her head, the rain fell on her body through the gaps in the leaves. Jiang Ren suddenly got out of the car, he unzipped his coat and took off his jacket. In a few steps, he walked over to Meng and put the jacket over her. The frightened Meng Ting to lift her head from the black jacket, he raised his cane and tried to teach Jiang Ren to be a man by hitting him with two sticks. Jiang Ren held her hard cane and couldn't help but laugh and said, Do you think I have a good temper? If this thing touches me again, I'll beat you up. Meng Ting to his words so scared that he did not dare to raise his head to speak again. Jiang Ren, who was almost 30 centimeters taller than Meng, he looked at Meng's fluttering eyelashes from above. He was suddenly curious about the pair of eyes behind the sunglasses. Jiang Ren smiled and asked, Hey, what's your name, good student? But Meng Ting to the one who wanted to never know Jiang Ren, how would he tell him his name? Meng Ting not to speak. Jiang Ren and skimmed her shirt pocket exposed blue band. At this time, the number 17 bus was slowly approaching the bus stop. The corners of Jiang Ren's mouth flashed a bad smile. He suddenly pulled out the blue band in Meng's pocket and pulled out her student ID card. By the time Meng Lisen, who is always several beats slower, reacted, her student ID had long since disappeared into Jiang Ren's hands. But at this time, the bus had already stopped at the stop. Meng Ting to the shoulder, still smelling faintly of smoke jacket stuffed back into the arms of the will, then ran all the way to escape on the bus. Meng Ting to find a window seat and sat down after a moment of melancholy. The student card fell into the hands of that bad guy. I do not know what he took his student ID card in the end to do. Jiang Ren looked at the fading bus. A head of silver hair has been wet by the drizzling rain. He looked down at the student card in his hand. So this little blind man his name is Meng Lisena. The scene shifted and Jiang Ren returned to the small port city. The people in the room were still singing. Jiang Ren sat alone on the sofa and lit a cigarette thoughtfully. Shen Yuqing came up to Jiang Shen and softly invited him to play billiards together. Jiang Ren smelled her overpowering perfume and frowned. Then he turned his head and asked He Jun Ming to come over to play the game with him. Ignored by Jiang Shen, Shen Yuqing hung her head down and fell into self-imposed isolation. But the indomitable Shen Yuqing began to play their own AQ spirit. The more frustrated, the braver she was. She took the initiative to help Jiang Ren pick up his jacket. But coincidentally, the student ID card in her pocket fell out at this time. Shen Yuqing glanced at the student ID card that fell on the ground and froze for a moment. As the flower of the seventh high school, she immediately recognized her own school ID card. Curiosity drove her to bend down and pick up the student ID card. The picture on the student ID card was a girl with a pair of strange eyes. Shen Yuqing recognized the person in the photo and instantly became unsettled. Jiang Ren's pocket how can there be Meng listen to the student card. Shen Yuqing looked at Meng Ting to the student card froze half silly. After a little thought she bit her lips fiercely. She pretended to show her student ID card to He Jun Ming without thinking about it. He Jun Ming glanced at the student card in Shen Yuqing's hand and then. He was instantly amused by the pair of strange eyes on Meng's face. Isn't this the blind guy from your school? He Jun Ming's eyes were spicy and he was laughing so hard that tears came out of his eyes. His voice attracted everyone in the room, and the crowd looked at the student ID card and erupted like a tidal wave of roar. A boy who did not mind the big deal even passed them one by one to share the joy. It was too late. The boy who was holding the photo and making a commotion suddenly received a punch in the face. The student ID card was also grabbed by Shinobu who threw a punch of justice. Shinobu sent a death stare at the boy with a black face. The boy covered his half-swollen face and looked confused. Jiang Shinobu's black pupils emitted an icy luster under his anger. Without another word, he threw a beautiful R dodge roundhouse kick. The boy fell to the ground without a fight and was declared game over. He Jun Ming hurriedly pulled Shinobu and told him to calm down. Jiang Ren, who was already showing signs of an attack, told the boy to crawl with a cold face. Then he turned to Shen Yuqing and asked for his jacket back. She was scared out of her mind and handed over her jacket with fear and trepidation. Jiang Shen put Meng's student ID card into his pocket and turned his head and called out Shen Yuqing's name. Then he cruelly proposed to her to break up. Shen Yuzhen looked at Jiang Ren incredulously and asked him to say it again. Jiang Shen put his jacket on his shoulders carelessly and repeated what he just said. In this way, Shen Yuqing achieved the ultimate achievement of being broken up with twice in just five seconds. In fact, Jiang Ren has long been tired of this ridiculous relationship. He clearly Shen Yuqing like is his own family background, but not himself as a person. Shen Yuqing grew up with good grades and good looks. Naturally she also has a high temper. 
she saw those who fell on their own seemingly scowling and light mockery of the gaze, but finally could not pull the face to beg Jung Ren. Angrily, she left Jung Ren with the words, don't regret it, turned around and ran out of this place that made him sad. After all, the feng shui fortune of being able to be broken up twice in five seconds is indeed unattainable. As soon as Shen Yuqing left, the remaining men and women couldn't stay any longer, so Jiang Ren sat alone in the empty private room. When he touched his student ID card in his pocket, he lit up a cigarette again in annoyance. No one can know what he is thinking at this moment. On the other hand, Meng Ting to some eye infection because of the rain, Xu father accompanied her to the hospital for a checkup. The doctor prescribed a few days of topical medicine for Meng Listen. So Meng Listen to the sunglasses were replaced with white gauze. Xu's father was heartbroken or distressed. When they came home, Xu Lan was lying on the sofa on the phone. The other side of the phone told Xu Lan a big melon. Xu Lan's eyes lit up and asked, Really? They broke up. Xu's father blackened his face and asked Xu Lan what he was talking about. She hung up the phone as soon as she realized that her father and Meng were behind her. Xu's father, who was usually gentle and elegant, turned against his normal. He sternly warned Xu Lan that she must not fall in love early. After saying that, he even forgot to turn his head and also warned Meng to listen to his daughter. In the blink of an eye, it was time for the flag-raising ceremony on Monday. Zhao Nguan Orange was standing in front of Meng Listen, and she wanted to chat with Meng Listen secretly, but she found that the student card around Meng's neck had disappeared. Meng Ting to her eyes and told Zhao Nguan Orange that she had accidentally lost her student ID card. The class teacher was making an unannounced inspection at the moment. She would rather be punished than go to Jiang Ren, so she had to do as she was told. As expected, Meng Ting in the end did not escape the teacher's sharp eyes. The teacher didn't expect that the number one student, who was usually the most careful, would make a mistake. Although she usually likes Meng, but the rules can't be ignored, she had no choice but to punish Meng listening to run a small marathon of 1,500 kilometers. For Meng listen to the physical ability is not good enough for this is really difficult. Because of the bad eyes she can only run not slow. Jiang Ren, who was riding his motorcycle, happened to pass by here. He immediately saw Meng listen in front of him. Her hair was up in a ponytail with the autumn breeze raising a slight curve. When he Jun Ming saw the slow Meng listen, he couldn't help but joke that I was walking faster than he was running. Jiang Ren heard also could not help but curl his lips. Fang Tan was confused what Meng Ting to the mistake of running here. The brainy He Jun Ming guessed that Meng was arrested for early love. Jiang Ren turned around and slapped him on the head. You think it's you ah? He Jun Ming's face was confused when he was hit. Jiang Ren sent a boy to find out the news by magic. He was curious about what the little blind man had done wrong. In a short time, the boy brought back the exact information from the 7th grade students. The smile on Jiang Ren's face gradually disappeared after hearing this. He suddenly got out of the car and walked towards Meng Listen. Meng Ting, who was running out of breath, was sitting on a rock resting. She didn't expect her physical condition to be so poor now. She thought that when she used to practice martial arts, she could run for 2,000 kilometers without panting. She almost suffocated again when she managed to smooth her breathing. Because her neck was hung with a student card, Meng Ting slowly raised his head to meet the cold black pupils of Jiang Ren. His face was expressionless as he irritably asked, I owe you? Why are you so stupid? 